Welcome back to the longest journey. Uh, we're still at Burns Flipper's place. Let's talk a bit more. Uh, hey, Burns. Burns. I'll be right up. What is it? Could you fix me up with some fake identification? Why would you want that? How else am I going to get to Grendel Avenue? Hey, I'm warning you, don't fuck with those Vanguard shitheads. Yeah, they bite. And I bet you they don't let go like fucking, what do you call those little fucking dogs that don't let go? Pitbull Terriers? Shit. Man, those things are nasty, fucking wicked nasty. Can we discuss the fake identification I need? Baby, I gotta tell you, it's gonna cost you cash only. You got a lot of cash? Lots of it. You better come it out of your ears, baby. And sorry, friend of a friend and all, but it ain't cheap. And I advise you to forget about it pronto. Let me worry about that. How much will it cost me? I have, like, $300. Ha! Ha ha! Try 20k on for size, shortcake. Sorry, little missy, but fake IDs cost a moolah. I need to buy a properly generated key from a connection downtown. I need an authorized blank card. You're an idiot. They don't come cheap, that stuff. Even if I cut out my profit, which for a friend of Warren's, I just may. <laughs> It'll still come to $15,000, baby. $15,000. Oh. Would you consider alternative forms of payment for a fake ID? Sorry, Chiquita, that urge disappeared with my little legs. No! Oh, not that! God forbid! More like a, a favor or something you need. Don't think I need it. Whoa! God! Shit, that gets me every time. What's up with your chair? Ah, the anti-grav control unit is fried like fried taters, brainiac. Ah, it'll be gone, gone, gone for a good in a few days. But I hope my good friend, my buddy, my mate, Freaky Sales, gets me a new one before that, so it don't fall down. If I get you a new anti-grav control unit, would that get me a fake ID? <laughs> if you found a good one that actually works, and one that can lift more than 200 kilos, hey, sure, like you're gonna find one. <laughs> What would I need to get you to pay for a fake ID? A new working AG control unit for my chair would be real nice. Wicked nice. Hmm. Thanks. Wasn't that what we found sure. at... Um... At the crashed hovercraft? I think it was. Let's, uh... Let's uh, go, Mario. So, where do we need to go? I think it was, if I remember correctly... Um, downstairs... Probably here. And let's see, what's what's that? Is that Metro Vest or the Metro Circle? was Metro West. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so... Yeah. 
Yeah, we got right here. Let's run down here. Thanks. I can't pass through the fence without setting off the alarm. Or worse, getting fried by that military grade laser. Hmm. How about. I believe you can use this, maybe? I saw this on an episode of MacGyver 2200. <laughs> oh! MacGyver. Step away from the fence, ma'am. Let's talk to this guy. Move along. Nothing to see. Keep it moving, ma'am. <coughs> Damn. Dust. Would you like a cold soda, officer, to wash away the dust? Much wise, ma'am. Damn! Damn it! I have to get to the service office before my suit short circuits. Perfect. I feel so bad. Yeah, right, April. And I love it. So now we should be able to do this. And we should be able to get this, right? The AG control unit is fastened tight with a couple of big screws. Yanking it free might damage the unit. Oh, big screws, you said? Well, thank God we got a screwdriver. So we got it here. Now we need to get all the way back to uh, Mr. Burns Flipper. The Flipper. screens in between like basically a bit of a waste of time but uh, yeah totally this is what uh, the flipper needs um, there we go into the peaks Hey, Flippy Mickey, Dibbity. Got something for ya. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! Is this what you need? Whoa! Heavy duty! That baby's worth just enough for me to get you top of the line all access ID, babe. Yeah! Hey, with this, I might even be able to zoom on out of here once in a while. Excellent. So how soon can you have the ID ready? Uh, a couple of days. A couple of days? I need it now. Oh, no, 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 no. Ain't gonna happen. Shit takes time, you know? Shit takes time. Tomorrow night at the earliest. Can't promise anything, though, but I'll certainly try for the little girl. Huh. So I believe
leaf. What can we do meanwhile? Um, didn't we promise to meet Kutes somewhere? Like at the cathedral? Now, do I remember where the cathedral is? That's a question. circle Throw this this away. Mm. Staring up support for their ideas and Arcadians, those easily misled sheep. They embrace these ideas because they prophesize change, and change is always attractive to humans. Not only humans, the vanguard are using a tyrant to force their changes into effect. They say the tyrant have turned to religion, that they- have... <sighs> The tyrant. Those beasts are not much for loyalty, but promise them money and power. The vanguard are probably ready to offer them half of the Northlands, perhaps even Mercuria itself for their services. And they have certainly wanted to put their filthy claws on that city for as long as I can remember. Yes, it's beginning to look quite bleak. What about the girl? I think she may have seen the light, finally. She does not know even half of what is going on, and if she did, I do not think she would be able to handle it. Better she does not know. Aren't you worried that the fate of the balance in our worlds is in the hands of a... a child? A simple country girl? Of course. I do my best to help her, as does the mother in her way. Still, April will be on her own soon enough, and then... Who knows? After all, she is the one. No one seems to doubt that. The balance knows, and the balance provides. And if the balance believes in this girl, we should as well. Spoken as a man of true faith. But of course, Father. You're not the only one who places his faith in higher powers. Speaking of higher powers, I have to go prepare my sermon for tonight. And what lessons will be taught today? You know the usual. Sacrifice, devotion, faith. The cornerstones of any religion. Even the vanguard seem to follow these tenets. They require devotion through faith just as much as we do. Good night, Raul. Que Dios te bendiga. Interesting. Let's talk to a uh, goddess. It's beautiful in here, don't you think? So quiet, so spiritual. See, I'm no Catholic, but I still like coming here to meditate, to pray if you want. If you're not a Catholic, who do you pray to? To the universe, to the balance, to the rock in this floor and, and the air around us, to you and, and to myself. What is that, Buddhism? It's life, senorita, pure and simple. So, what did you dig up today? Oh, nothing, except for everything you ever wanted to know about the Vanguard and Jacob McAllen. You got the information? You found Warren? He helped you? Eventually. It wasn't easy. But I know where to find McAllen, and I'm working on how to get there. I should be all set by tomorrow. Good news. And just in time, too. Things are not going well out there. What do you mean? The balance is collapsing, and magic is seeping through into this world. 
Stark is still protected by its strong currents of logic and order, but Arcadia is on the brink of war and utter chaos. Unless we act quickly, Arcadia will fall into disorder and Stark will follow. Can't we get help? Everyone with the power and will to help is doing so. But you are so much more important than anyone else. You can travel to Arcadia to bring order to chaos. At least until we find the Guardian and return him to his realm. What about the Vanguard? We investigate your lead tomorrow, yes? If we find what we are looking for, if they have the Guardian or know where he is, then we are one step closer to victory. But we still need to find the entrance to his realm. And the situation in Arcadia is not getting any better, not without your help. I don't know anything. What can I do? By just being there, you are helping. You are strong in the balance, April. And your power flows into those you meet and helps them against the tides of chaos. Whatever you do, however you do it, you are helping. I still feel so... so helpless. I don't understand half of what you tell me, and as for the other half, I can't help being skeptical. Good. Do not trust everyone or everything, and make a stand against that which you do not believe. Just be sure to accept the truth when you find it, and embrace the good in the world. I'll do my best. What are we going to do now? Tomorrow, we will visit with McAllen, find what he knows and use it. Then the day after, you will go back to Arcadia. At most, we have a week, but it should be enough. As for today, relax, be with your friends. I don't think I'll ever be able to relax again. We pay a heavy price for our knowledge, yes, but try to enjoy yourself because the hard work begins in the morning. I will see you then, yes? Wait, wait! Where are you going to be this time? We will meet here, yes? I'm afraid I cannot go back to Venice, not now. There are people looking for me. The Vanguard? Yes. They know what I am, who I am. They will not rest until they have me. So we must work very fast to destroy them. Tomorrow, then? Tomorrow. Have a good night, okay? Be careful. Thank you, senorita. And you. Okie dokie. So, hmm. We can't do anything before tomorrow. That means either I need to head to the bar, I need to head home, I guess. Um, let's see. Oh, where do we live again? East Venice. To the bridge, yes. This painter is still at it. Painting for days. These guys are still getting arrested. We're going to the border house. So I wonder what's about to happen. Uh, I guess. I'm not sure if I already get, I'm gonna get that ID the day uh, uh, day after or what. But apparently we need to meet Cortez at the cathedral. Mm, nobody's here. Let's how do we go up the stairs? Oh, Sagaru. Hey, what are you doing? A disappearing sack. Uh, Charlie's apartment, Zach's apartment, my apartment. Wait, what are you doing in my apartment? Charlie, Emma, what are you guys doing here? We locked ourselves in to wait for you. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. 
By the way, I think Zack was spying on you guys. I caught him leaning up against the door, and he hurried back into his room the second I arrived. He's such a loser. And he seems to have a personal vendetta against you now after what you did to him. Or what he claims you did last night. Gotta love the guy. So what's up? What's the occasion? We want to know what's going on with you, April. What do you mean? Nothing's going on. Don't lie to your best friends. That's way below you. We know something's going on. There's no point denying it. For three days straight, you've been away all day. You've been acting weird and hanging around Cortez, of all people. And then today we find out you've been up to Metro Circle by yourself? I mean, April, for God's sake, what is going on? Now, where do we start? Um... If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Try us. We're your friends. Whatever it is, I'm sure we can help. Somehow. I've been... Uh, chosen to save the world. <laughs> Stop kidding around, April. We're serious. So am I. I told you, you wouldn't believe me. You're actually telling us the truth. What do you mean you've been chosen to save the world? As in, there's something really bad going down. I can't say exactly what, but Cortez is with the good guys, and I've been... drafted. Look, April, if you're having some kind of nervous breakdown, we'll do anything God, to... I knew I should have kept my mouth shut. Forget it! I don't even believe in myself, so why should you? I believe you, April. I've seen things these past few days, strange, inexplicable things. And my grandma taught us that there's more to this world than meets the eye. And after all, it's you saying these things. My friend, April. I've never known you to lie or even exaggerate the truth. If you believe it, I believe it. And I'm sure the same goes for Emma. Thank you, Charlie. It means a lot to me. I wish I could tell you everything, but I don't think I can. I understand. When you're ready. But if there's anything, anything at all we can do to help... Well, don't hesitate to ask. There are a few things you can help me with. Great. What? Like I said, I can't really tell you very much about what's going on. Not yet, anyway. Tomorrow, after I've had a good night's sleep, I'll try explaining as much as possible. But there's one thing you can do for me. I have reason to suspect that somebody's out to get me, or Cortez. Who? Long story. But I could need some backup. These goons, these agents, they could be closing in, and whatever advance warning you're able to give me... We'll do our best. What do they look like? I'm not sure, but you'll know when you see them. I'm sure. Anybody suspicious around, let me know. This is kind of exciting, but you gotta tell me, what are they after you for? Did you do something illegal? Not yet. Not really. It's what I might do that they're worried about. But please don't ask me any more questions today. Just keep your eyes and ears peeled for anything weird. I need a good night's sleep, and tomorrow I should be able to tell you more. But thanks for helping me out, guys. I really appreciate it. So bring We're all hanging out at the cafe tomorrow night, April, so you're just gonna have to join us. I promise. Now get some sleep. Sorry to tell you this, but you look totally exhausted. I'm glad we had this talk. Thanks for checking up on me, guys. Sure. Good night. Good night, Charlie. Good night, girl. Sweet dreams. So breaking into a police station isn't uh, something uh, illegal. That's a strange way to sleep. Oh no. Wait, what? What's that noise? Shift?
Where's that light coming from? Well, apparently a closet, lady. Oh! Chapter 4. Monsters. Oh my. And oh, welcome back. Not again. In your underwear. Not now. <sighs> I hope this is a dream. I really do because if Cortez didn't open a shift, who did? And how will I get home again on my own? No dream, and I'm guessing this is Mercurian. It smells like it, like a mix between fresh flowers and cow dung. There's some kind of part going on in there. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna end this episode here as we start chapter 4. Uh, I'm gonna be back with the next one very soon. Thank you for watching.